Yes, it's a jam swiss in a walk one. We say big up my subscribers, them. And they say if you just come even from my channel, big you up also. Respect to everybody that support my channel. Right now, let me tell us something. I see a thing I run through Jamaica. I'm reading from the Western Mirror. Res big respect, Western Mirror. Tracking COVID 19. Jamaica has 59 confirmed covid cases there are now 59 confirmed cases of the coronavirus 2019 covid in jamaica the new addition is a 43 year old male from portland who is under investigation it brings to seven the number of cases under investigation while 30 are imported cases and 22 are import related. So far, 32 males and 27 females have tested positive. The case range in age 12 to 87 years. The average is 50 years. Of the confirmed cases, read, two or three percent are less than 20 years old. Three or five percent are between 20 to 29 years old. 11 to 19 percent are between 30 to 39 years old. Nine or 15 percent are between 40 to 49 years old. 16 or 18 percent are between 50 and 59 years old. 10 or 17 percent or between 60 and 69 years old 7 or 12 percent or between 70 and 80 years old and one person is 87 year old eight patients are fully recovered while three died there are currently 38 persons in quarantine in a government facility 62 or in isolation. What are the symptoms of COVID-19? The most common symptoms of COVID are fever, tiredness, and dry cough. Some patients may have aches and pains, nasally congestion, runny nose, sore throat, and diarrhea. Preventing the COVID, preventing the spread of COVID-19 wash your hands frequently with soap and water or use an alcohol-based hand rub maintain at least one meter that's three feet distance between yourself and anyone who is coughing or sneezing avoid touching eyes nose and mouth cover your mouth and nose with your bent elbow or tissue when you cough or sneeze, then dispose of the used tissues immediately. Stay home if you feel unwell. If you have a fever, cough, or difficulty breathing, contact the Ministry of Health at the number listed below. These are the things that they have said about the COVID-19 on the island of Jamaica. What I want you to understand that the symptoms are, um, let me just put it from my experience. The symptoms are flu-like. So therefore, if it's not really tested positive, they will literally tell you a time that the symptoms that you have are COVID-19. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me twisted. So therefore, you have to go to, you have to call the Ministry of Health in Jamaica and tell them how you're feeling, isolate yourself, ab abide by the laws. You see, we like to touch our faces, we like to touch our nose, and we like to touch somebody else at times when we are speaking. I realize that sneezing is not something sometimes you, you can quickly move your hand but with a, with a tissue but you can do your elbow very fast 
It's like a punching effect and you're already in your elbow. My Jamaicans, please, my fellow Jamaican, please, abide by a little law. Stop assuming and making an assumption of what people are telling you and, and sometimes the things that you have put in your head. COVID-19 is real. For those who have had the symptoms and have been in hospitals, I don't know if hospitals will put everybody and say because everybody sneezes and everybody have a dry cough, a tiredness or what, and just literally say that they have a COVID-19 to make the rate or goes up. I can't say that. I know that myself who has asthma, I would not call myself asthmatic because I only, I have asthma. And I know that at times I, I never had a fever in my life. But I, sometimes the asthma can let you be tired and you can cough. I can have na um, nasal congestion, runny nose at times and a sore throat. Not really the diarrhea. But the symptoms are so near to each other. So to avoid having to being false diagnosed, tell yourself that I'm going to put myself in isolation I'm going to report my symptoms to the authority so that they can come to my aid before it's out of hand. Jamaica, that's not too hard for us to, to understand. We know how to gossip and we know how to don't want anybody in our homes and we know how all of that. So why can't we not just avoid having to be captured by the police and ransack. One other thing I understand is here that the, the alcohol base and rub. If you are a smoker who likes to smoke, the alcohol base and rub, be very careful with it. If wash your hands with soap and water. Because I've seen people hand that been rubbed with the alcohol and it's changed colors for some reason. And the person is not even a black person. And one of the things is that I've realized that people can catch fire with some of these alcohol-based rub. Don't know how it come to be like that. But one other thing I remember when I was growing up was that the orange peel, the skins of the orange, you can soak it in liquid, tip a little bit of rum in that liquid, or let me say, Pre-boil your orange peel. I'm not saying it's a method, but we used to use that as an rub when I was growing up. You boil it, you boil the, and you let that water cool. You tip a little alcohol in it. Then you strain it off and you can have it in something to wash, wash your hands with. Avoid having to be flogged by police officers. COVID-19 can, can go fast if we abide by the rules. Because instead of having to become being vaccinated, that we are not sure what the vaccines are for, why not abide by the rules? Wearing a mask when it's necessary. Do the why, three meters distance or three feet distance between you and somebody and just chill it, it's not gonna kill us if we you you say you like hygiene and now you are having a proper hygiene ordered by governments all over the world that's speaking one language and it's COVID-19 Miss Corona is around let Miss Corona go your friends, if they are your friend, they will still be around after COVID. It's a factual Jamaicans. And those anywhere around the world who are having this problem with the mask, I do have problem with the mask. But there are times when I definitely had to wear the mask to prevent myself from contracting that somebody sneezed. I was in a bus the other day and a guy just sneezed just like that. And the funny thing is that he took off his mask, which was not allowed in the bus.
my friends, let us help ourselves to help each other. This is Jaycon TV out of Zurich saying unto each and every one of us, Shalom out.